All right, good morning, everyone. So I've slowly been upgrading my Unify networking gear from the USG or Unify Security Gateway set up with the cloud key to the integrated Unify Dream Machine Pro SE edition. I like that one because it included the integrated PoE switches. So that gives me some um, ability to drop off some of my additional network gear. So I've eliminated the cloud key and my uh, downstream PoE switch, which helped me kind of clean things up. So I like that, but it's also given me an excuse to try out some of their additional products like Unify Talk. So today we're going to be looking at replacing my normal kind of DECT desk phone with a VoIP setup which is going to allow me to drop off the absorbent VoIP charges that my uh, ISP provides me for my phone service at home with the Unify Talk offering which at the time uh, of recording this is only about $9.99 per line per month. So that's a uh, uh, much more affordable. It's about one third the cost. And Ubiquiti is releasing uh, an ATA device, which is going to allow me to backfeed my phones so that all my normal phones in the house will ring through on the VoIP line that Unified Talk provides. But Ubiquiti also provides these really cool desk phones. And I got the UTP Touch, which is the five inch version, but it also comes in a larger UTP Touch Max. And some of the cool features that this will allow me to do is that when I go to the security products like their cameras and things like that for Unify Protect, I can actually view my security cameras on the screen of the phone, which I think is gonna be a nice little value add, as well as just kind of having a really cool desk phone. So now let's get started with the unboxing of the UTP Touch and see what's provided in the box. All right, so here is the UTP Touch. This is the five inch screen. It has a 720 by 1080 HD screen with a built-in, I believe, five megapixel camera, but we'll go over the specs a little bit later. Uh, so it's a VoIP phone, as I mentioned. Um, so on the back here, they have a nice little plastic reducing pull tab. So let's open this up and see what we've got. All right, so it's not too bad. A uh, little dust here, but we have the protective film that I'm gonna take off. So, you know, you have your handset here. And it's actually a nice kind of like a satin kind of soft finish, if, if you, that makes sense. There's a quick start guide. I really don't like these uh, QR code quick start guides that Unify has on all their new products. Um, they're kind of sparse, it's like Ikea furniture. It's not too terribly difficult to set up their, their products, but it would be a little bit nicer to have some more information uh, in their instructions on some of the more tech specs. So I have to hunt these things down. Um, so we'll take this little sleeve off and hang up the phone. So on the right side of the UTP Touch VoIP phone, we have a USB-C port and a uh, headset port. So you can plug that in and not annoy your neighbors if you're in an office situation. And in the back of the UTP Touch, we have a PoE LAN port and a PC port. And it'd be interesting if that PC port allowed me to do a pass through so that I can provide internet to my uh, desktop without using this additional switch to get me some additional ports on the desk. So uh, I think I should just be able to use this PoE LAN port to power the phone and provide a VoIP service and maybe use this PC port to uh, kind of daisy chain internet into my uh, desktop computer. So I'll have to try that out a little bit later. But for now, let's use this US8 switch in the back to bring over the connection. Go ahead and use port number five. So now we'll just take the other end of our CAT6 cable and plug it into the back of the UTP Touch's PoE LAN port and see what happens next. All right, so now I have the UTP Touch waiting for me to continue set up in the Unify Talk application. At the top, there's a uh, special code that I'm covering for purposes of the video, but you need to enter that into the Unify Talk application, which I'll do now to uh, associate the phone with my phone number. All right, so here we are in the Unify Talk application and my UTP Touch is showing up. I need to now assign it. And the tricky part is that when you assign the device, by default, it's kind of trying to use a discrete Unify Talk application number, but I already have that assigned to my UTATA. And that will allow you to share multiple devices under the same number, you have to set up a group. So I've set up a group here called House Line, and I have my UTATA currently set up with it. And I'm going to go ahead now also and associate my UTP touch with it. So if I go under here and click on assign device, I can select my office phone and that should set that up under the same group. Now, how do you do that magic is what I just figured out off camera. So under users and groups, you can go under the group setting here and 
when you're looking at that, you can uh, go under edit or create new if you've uh, not already been in here. And when you set it up, you associate the group with a phone number. So this is the phone number here at the top with my Unify Talk account. And I only have the one, so I'm going to be sharing that within the group. As far as how it handles calls, it's kind of cool. You can choose to ring all your phones simultaneously like a normal house. Or you can have it work more like an office setup where the phones ring sequentially based on uh, who answers in the phone tree first. So if the first person doesn't answer, it goes on to the next one and so on. And then I have my two users in the group association uh, list here. So we just need to add a user so that we can associate it with our group. So in the top right of the user section, click on add user give it a first name and a last name. And this is what tripped me up is that it seems to want a telephone number, but we're gonna actually assign it to a device instead. So we'll leave that empty for now and hit on add. And now that it's unassigned, we can go back under here and manage. So instead of associating the user with a number, you associate it to a device. And you can see here that I've assigned my other two users to the actual devices. So the really mellow user I have set up to the UTATA line one, and for the uh, office phone that I just set up, it's the UTP touch. So I have the office phone user associated to the UTP touch. So just as an example for the setup in this video, I can select the second line for the UTATA that I'm not gonna use, but just for example purposes, so I'll hit save. And once that's saved, if I go back under groups, I can now manage the group and add that new test user. So that's what I did for these prior two, which is why they're set up correctly now. So I'll just go ahead and back out that change now and delete that user. So now if I head back over to devices, you can see that I have the UTP touch again assigned to that office phone user and the UTATA assigned to the really mellow user. So that's how I got these as available options. So when I go to reassign, you can go ahead and select the, any of the users that you've set up uh, and attach those to your devices or associate those to your devices. All right, so here we are back at the desk. I've got my phones masked off here so that I don't accidentally disclose my telephone numbers and I don't need to blur in post-production. Uh, but here I have the house phone and here's the uh, UTP touch. And so if I go ahead and call, you should hear my smart assistant that I'm hoping will also confuse the spammers, which is a nice little feature of Unify Talk. So here we go. Hi there, thanks for calling. Press one for dialing the house. So before the phone came into play, I had this printer taking that CAT6 cable and I didn't really have a great way of getting another one here from the uh, Dream Machine. So I have the switch here temporarily, but when I was setting up the phone, I noticed I have, you know, this sort of pass through, I think. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to actually just daisy chain the uh, connection from the phone to the printer, which would allow me to eliminate the switch. So I'm going to go ahead and try that now and see if that actually works. So I'll disconnect the switch plug this CAT6 cable into the phone. So now I should be able to plug the printer into what I'm considering that pass-through port. Things still appear to be happy there. I'm getting dial tone. So then back over at the printer, if I go under networking, I still have an IP address there. So we are good to go. And I can actually eliminate that switch. That's a nice little feature. All right, so aside from some of the confusion that I had when I was going through and trying to associate users and groups and phone numbers initially that hopefully I've saved you the trouble of having to do that, you've watched this video, the rest of the Unify Talk setup went through really fast and really easy. So now I get to have all the cool features of Unify Talk on this UTP touch phone in my office and then the rest of the phones in my house can continue to work as normal phone lines using VoIP under the same Unify Talk subscription and it's much more reasonable at $9.99 versus the like $30 and change that my ISP was charging me for the same VoIP service. So switching over and doing it myself might actually end up saving me about $240 a year, which, you know, I like saving money. And if you have any questions about my setup, please leave them down there in the comments section down below. If you found the video helpful, please click on the like button down below as well and consider subscribing to my channel for more great tech reviews. Thanks for watching.